How'd we get here? This ain't where it usually leads. Scott, he's good. It's an illusion. Cosmos trapped us in another mental prison. Stop. Listen. What's that? A nine barking. Great! Instead of one dog, we're gonna get attacked by a whole bunch of them. Collective noun for a group of young dogs. You know what this means? It means Cosmo isn't completely promised up. Yeah, it looked like he bought in to me. Then why didn't he kill us? And why would his puppies be in here too? Because he's trying to protect us. And maybe he left the puppies to help us escape. We just need to find them. What does this mean for Cosmos' puppies? It means they have lost their father. Does anyone else feel there's this whole orphan theme running through the last few cycles? Dog, to us, dog. You need to use a gentle tone. Dog, to us, please. The barking is getting fainter. It's kind of hard to follow. Don't help, every hall looks the same. I think we're getting closer, right? Why do you sound surprised? The yapping is getting louder. And more annoying. Groot says we're getting closer. Shouldn't be too far now. Beast is not far. 
close. Wrong way, Quill. Hey, buddy! What are you doing in here? Ray, now we're following one of Cosmos' kids. And it's the dumb. He's not dumb. He's just regular. Is that what they used to tell you? I'll take it, because I know that teasing comes from a place of love. Too bad about Cosmo. Millions even. And who knows what will actually happen to the We won't let that happen. We gotta get out of here before we can even try to save the galaxy. out of the woods, little guy. This puny whelp will be a great warrior one day. Yeah, a real beast. <laughs> if you want me to triangulate Mr. Mouthful's location, we gotta get inside. You coming, buddy? Oh, it's... It's not safe here. You ever been on a spaceship before? You gotta help your dad and family. I get it. Go get him, buddy. Tracker's online. Confirming Goldie's on the Dast and Sacro scut. Seatbelts, everyone. We're going in hot. Crap. Hold on. Hold on. Got him! Alpha Hercules system, inside the Keystone Asterism. Got it. Coordinates are in. We're not getting away this time. Down, power down. Hell yeah, Nova Core. The world mind must have.
Well, can't say we didn't try. Nikki's in there somewhere. There's got to be a way. Yes, we overpower them with our own vastly superior fleet. Well, regrettably, we do not have one. Guys, we do our best work when we're out of options. Somebody's got to have something. Gamora, thoughts? Maybe Earth has heroes that can help us? Those guys in the pajamas? Mighty pajamas. Trust me, Earth hasn't caught up to everybody just yet. We need somebody with a fleet. <laughs> Groot, and no bad ideas. I am Groot. Yeah, that's a bad idea. We're not going to the Shatari. That is the kind of wild card we're looking for, just not that one. The snakes would shoot us in the back. Assuming they don't shoot us in the front. Drax. You have royal blood. Perhaps it is time for the Prince of Spartax to return and rally his people. You been to Spartax lately? I have not, but Spartoi technology is well beyond- Spartax was sacked during the war because of its tech. You can't even land there anymore. <laughs> Hold on. What if the answer's been slobbering right in front of us this entire time? Peter Quill, this, this beast cannot operate a ship. That's, that's not what I'm saying. Think about it. Cammy's pretty much useless to us, but she's also useless to the church. They want people to brainwash. I bet animals aren't even on their radar. They went after Cosmo. Cosmo's mind is way more advanced than ours. His intelligence makes him weak to the promise, just like Rocket. Thanks, but not an animal. What I'm saying is we know someone with an entire beast army, and I bet Raker hasn't even looked twice at her. How can you be certain she is not one of them? I am Groot. Guardians of the Gut! Nope, she's good. You do realize she still wants to flay us and feed us to her babies? Guys, this is it. Okay, our one last long shot. We've got to find a way to apologize and make things right. Okay, well, we'll get her a gift. A peace offering. Groot ain't going back in a cage. No, no, think bigger. Way bigger. The one beast that she'd want more than any other. Drax knows what I'm talking about. Oh, yes! Oh, no, 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 no. Here it comes! You know where we're going! To Mach To battle the legendary Fin Fang Foom! Totally gonna fly into that, aren't we? They say that the rings of Maku 4 perpetually rain fire down upon the godless abominations that dwell below. How fun. <laughs> I'm sure it's worse than it looks, too. It is. Many of my people braved this same treacherous pilgrimage before me, never to return. something show off <laughs> hey if you got it Flark. Flark. no no stabilizers are shot repair systems are overloaded if we are destined to crash, try at least to crash into Fin Fang Foom! Nobody's crashing! Oh, we're crashing! These peaks are treacher- Whoa! Flark! Just trying to slow us down! Fear! Fear! Stop yelling! Fear! 
Watch out for the thing, Peter! Which thing? Pretty sure she needs all the things! Peter! Watch out for the thing! Yeah, I got it! Oh, Scott! Oh, Scott! <laughs> Glorious! How are you enjoying this? I am not! I am embracing death! <laughs> okay. Oh, a little bumpy, but we're all okay, right? <laughs> Laughing. That's good. <laughs> it's just, it's perfect. This is us. This is how we park. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is how Quill parks, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> we were not fated to die this day. <laughs> Unless, of course, Fin Fang Foom devours us whole. <laughs> <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. we gotta find him first. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is insane. This is how we park, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that definitely shouldn't be sparking. We can worry about that after we catch our dragon. And convince Lady Hellbender to help us bust the church a new one. Before setting out on our quest, let us rouse our spirits with a Katathian battle anthem. What? Like now? You know what? Flark it. Let's do it. Now listen closely. Ancient Katathian is a powerful tongue with words that hold great meaning. Follow as I lead the melody. So traju to pluk, heldag or morgath, soltas flandergath. Really? We're doing this? Targath gonad kol, vol malki ultath. All right, let's do this. It wishes it's cold. <laughs> That's not really how that saying goes. You want to correct me, or you want to find Fin Fang Foom and save the galaxy? I want Fin Fang Foom. And the galaxy saving thing, I guess. Assuming Hellbender even goes for this. Lady Hellbender will go for it. Okay. Well, I ain't seeing no foam poke. We should look for Katathian hunt markers. Testaments to the bravery of those who came before. By bravery, you mean... Look like? Like great stakes planted with honor and in service of redemption. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> the legends of reigning fire are true! Any other legends we should know about? Legends of glorious death! Well, as long as it's glorious! We sure we'll still have a ride home with all the meteors? She can take a hit. We literally just crashed because she couldn't take a hit. And she's still in one piece. No, she's in several pieces. Well, the biggest piece is still in one piece. I guess the Milano's got some new scars to talk about. Watch out! This place is falling apart! We did not come here to be slain by ice and rocks. There is only one noble way to die of hunger. So many of my Someone remind Drax we ain't come here to die! No one's dying! We're taking Foom alive! We're handing him over to Lady Hellbender alive! And we're getting her to help us take on the church's armada! So all right, Drax, let's channel some of that excitement toward this rock. Ah, I should pretend that is the head of Fin Fang Foom! Great. Drax the skull of the thing we're supposed to capture. Bye-bye, Galaxy. You have nothing to fear. They say that his bones cannot be crushed. I am Groot? Says he wants to take it all in. Take your time, buddy. Might be our last chance to take anything in. Think Foom's in there? 
fantasy books taught me anything, it's that dragons love to hang out inside mountains. <laughs> Groot wants to know if those books said anything about catching dragons. I'm sure it had something to do with teamwork and trust. <laughs> he can't remember the details because he didn't read the whole thing. I read a lot of different dragon books, okay? And there was always a mountain, and the good guys always win. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no one books taught me anything. It's that dragons love to hang out inside mountains. <laughs> Groot wants to know if those books said anything about catching dragons. I'm sure it had something to do with teamwork and trust. <laughs> he can't remember the details because he didn't read the whole thing. I read a lot of different dragon books, okay? And there was always a mountain, and the good guys always win. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no one writing a book about us. Look, my people were here. Didn't we see these in Drax's memories when Mantis linked us all together? Near Katath. That's a lot of brave Katathians. After Thanos raised Katath, my people were left broken, physically and mentally. Their exodus led many of them here in great numbers. Uh, so how many of these hunters came back? None. They were all victims of Fing Fang Foon? Not victims. They came for the ultimate battle a truly glorious death. They came here to find purpose, didn't they? To reach Ultath. Our talk on nowhere. You were paying attention. Of course. Many would have been traitors or criminals, surely bound for Sarduth. Some were diseased or dying. Coming all the way out here, wounded and taking on the meanest monsters in the galaxy? They got my respect. And soon we shall have theirs. All them rectangles. Monoliths. The sky is particularly fiery this day. Fin Fang Foon is ready for us. <laughs> okay, T. If we can't make quick work of this thing, then we got no right going after Fin Fang Foon. Well said, Peter Quill. Keep the breathing room, crew. Huddle up! 
He's right. We're getting our butts kicked. They appear to be superior. We can't take this any longer, Peter. Guys, come on! These goos aren't gonna take us out. We're better than them. Flarkin' right. So let's go out there and show these Flarkers who we really are. Who's with me? I am with you, Peter Nice Quill. one, Peter! Time the bl- My great strength goes underutilized! Okay, so on a scale of 1 to 10, how much bigger and stronger and scarier is Foom going to be than the thing we just fought? 10,000. That's what I think. No one said this was going to be easy, Rocket. Church is capable of. No matter what this planet throws at us, we're not stopping till we catch Foom and Lady Hellbender is fighting by our side. Huh. Cut it down! Freshly sharpened! Drax. Gamora, I'm thinking I can get a pretty good vantage point from the top of this thing. Okay, just be careful, Peter. <laughs> I can see the whole crater from up here. Maybe Foom's not in the mountain after all. Maybe he's down there somewhere. You tell us. I mean, if I were a dragon, I'd definitely want to stop around down there. Legends do tell of Fin Fang Foom stalking Maklu's greatest Calder. Good enough for me. We can probably work our way around the edge and find a way down. You... Legends say that Fin Fang Foom can will himself from one dimension to another, should he choose to do so. So what if he chooses to do that while we're kicking his ass? Then we will have been bested. We must hope that in some other timeline we will have fared better. You think we're this desperate in other timelines too? Hala. <gasps> Whoa. Get a load of them claw marks. So, are we sure the Milano's gonna be okay? Because if we end up stranded here... The Milano should be fine. I wouldn't worry about it. And even if we do end up stranded, 